Oh, lovely dear Lord, sheep. Come on, I'm going to go fish and mining. Oh, lovely, oh, lovely. Where am I keen? Let's go. Okay, it's lovely, 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 lovely. This is the right keen. No, no, it's not all. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, ouch, I'm going to my Hey, YouTubers, Kenny here. So I was thinking, any of you guys out there ever been chased by a horde of zombies after some late night mining? Or had your front door blown off by creepers? Well, I have a lot. So I was thinking, how about I try and make the safest and semi-most practical house in all of Minecraft? So with your help telling me what I should act next, we, together, will build greatness. So be sure to comment letting me know what should be added next. Be it a bed in every room for efficiency, or a pit of death in a corridor ready for a monster to fall to their demise. I want to know! To start the series off, I came up with an idea that I'm not actually sure would be practical. At all. But I've always wanted to give it a try. You know houses usually have about four sides to them, a floor and a roof? Well I was thinking, what if one of those walls, not all of them, it would be crazy if this was all of them, what if one of the sides were just arrow exploding dispensers? Well I'm going to do just that. I'm going to make the front wall of my house a wall of dispensers. So many that no man would ever survive running through it. <laughs> so let's start. This is a new world. Uh, you just saw me create it. I'm going to play this on creative to uh, save a little time. Uh, I didn't fancy dying repeatedly. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, some wolves. Shame I won't be needing them. So what we currently have is a rendered square piece of land and a load of unrendered land. Awesome. Not quite sure what I'm looking for here in the options. I'm sure as hell not finding it. Let's fly around and get this place to render properly, eh? Let's fly over here. Looks like quite a nice place so far. I hate it when it doesn't render like this. Ooh, a load of octopuses. What's over here then? Ah, swamp. Not a massive fan of swamps. Hmm. So what we have is loads of grass and trees. Let's clear that up a bit. I've never actually used fire to clean up the landscape before. Fire is a great invention though, right? Well, no invention, but you know what I mean. Comment if you love fire, or if you have ever used it to burn someone's house down. Or maybe just start your fireplace, which led to your own house burning down. Uh, that's never, ever happened to me, by the way. Ever. Okay, it has. But it's a horrible, sad story, so let's not go there. That's coming along nicely. Ooh, natural cave. I'm going to just spend a little time exploring this in a second. See if there's anything interesting down there. But first! Let's add a bit more fire over here. You can never have too much fire, can you? A little here, and a bit here. I feel as if I'm decorating the place. Some sort of weird art form. I'm sure there is an art form out there that's burning. Though I'm pretty certain that there probably is one burning things. Is this enough? Do I want these trees down as well? Yeah, sure. Oh, a chicken. Die, chicken! <laughs> Exploring time! We've come to a junction. Which way to go? I think I must be on peaceful. Not that all I do is play on peaceful all the time. What do you think I am? Some sort of pansy? Let's play on normal. Um, I'm going to fast forward here and only show anything interesting. 
Otherwise, this video is going to be really long. Mushrooms look like cyclopses looking at you in the dark. No, just me. Evil Mushroom! Just had enough of this dungeon. Uh, I've been in it for 30 minutes now. It's mostly just me trying to swim in lava. As you can see. No diamonds, no emeralds, no gold. A lot of iron and redstone though, so not too bad. Let's head back up. I wonder how it's doing. Uh, where are we? Oh, there it is. Fire is still burning. Ooh, that's looking good. Nice and clear. A few bits I need to clear up quickly, but so far so good. What the fudge? Rendering glitch. Look at how this tree's turned out. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway. So I was clearing the last remaining grass. I saw a suicidal wolf. That hoary thought he was invulnerable to fire. He even goes back for some more. And dies shortly after. I'm sorry, Wolfie. I will build my house where you die in your memory. So here we are. A nice open area to start building. With my idea, I think a lot of redstone is going to be on show. So I need to think of a way to make it as minimal as I can. Just a heads up, I'm not a pro with redstone. Not like some people on YouTube are. All I know is pretty much the basics. I don't actually know how I'm going to get a load of dispensers that are stacked on top into the sides of each other, all to fire at the same time. So I'm going to have to do a bit of experimenting quickly, just after I build this. I don't know why, but I zoned out for a second and started flying around. But I'm back now. Just going to build the base structure for the front wall, and then I'm going to go off and experiment. Just going to make it this wide. That'll do. Hmm, I don't really like it facing this way. No mobs will be coming from the water. Okay, I've set it up the other way around, and I'm going to make it how many high? I think that's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six high, that's more than enough. <laughs> Completed the front wall. We have one fifth of a house. Whoop, whoop. Two sixths, including the floor. Uh, I need to make a door. Oops, it didn't even count. What? Is it just me, or does that look completely symmetrical? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna just pause here and experiment quickly. So I'll be right back. This is what I've come up with. I think that'll do the trick. This video will be mega long if I record me scaling the whole redstone part up to fit the wall. So let me fast forward here. Or just cut. So here it is. This is the observation deck. I built a large wall of walls so we can see the vast number of arrows being fired. This is the lever. Here it goes. Ooh, this is the first time testing it. I'm very happy about that. It's turned out quite well. That's a fair amount of arrows. I don't think anything would last that. There is one problem, but I'm not quite sure how I would address it. It's that it takes a long time to reload these dispensers, so maybe this isn't so practical after all. I'm sure it could come into some use sometime. Ah, starting to disappear. My arrows! So I used iron to build around it to make it a bit less dispenser looking. Do you know what I mean? And now it 
kind of looks like a factory. A weird factory. There's still a bit of a mess back here, and we still only have one wall of the house. We need at least another two. At least! I would like a four-sided house, though. If you have any ideas for the next wall of the house, comment below. Maybe a bit more practical this time, like like a bed. Or a bit more than that, but yeah. So this is the end result of the build this episode. Added a floor and made a base for how big the other walls should be. Not quite sure about the size of those though, so I think I'm going to change that at some point. If you have enjoyed watching this episode, then like, comment and subscribe for the next one. I'll see you next time. Bye. Die, skeleton! Ha <laughs> ha! The hell? The hell's out over there? Let's go check that out.